Hello and welcome to Well Expo and today I want to talk about Wayne Rooney. Last week the former England captain hung with his boots for the final time as it was confirmed that Rooney would become the permanent derby boss. Rooney should be remembered as one of English football's greats. He's captain in his country, he's England's record goal scorer. He won countless trophies for Man United and became their record scorer as well. But the question is, how will he cope with the transition from player to manager? He's got his big break on the touchline at Derby, the same place that Frank Lampard got his. And we all know where he is now. That's right, struggling to keep his job at Chelsea. But back to Rooney, and I think we're all curious to see how far he can go in management. But what I want to know is, will he make it all the way back to Old Trafford? Well, I've decided I can't wait any longer, so using Football Manager 2021, I'm going to see what would happen if Wayne Rooney became Manchester United manager. Using the edit, he's left Derby and taken Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's place in the Old Trafford dugout. He's got a six year deal on 100 grand a week, but will he be able to last it out? Let's find out. Right, so here we are at the start of the simulation, the 27th of July 2020, and as you can see, Wayne Rooney is the Manchester United manager. How will he get on in his first season in management at Old Trafford? Let's simulate one year into the future and find out. Right, so here we are at the end of the first year of the simulation, and as you can see, Manchester United have came fourth in the Premier League. They've got 71 points on the board to secure a season of Champions League football. But they were miles behind the champions, a huge 18 points adrift of Liverpool. Let's look at my night. Is Wayne Rooney still there? Yes, he is. So that's good at least. Wayne Rooney is still the Manchester United manager. He survived his first year in charge. A fourth place finish, but it could have been very, very different. On the final day, Man United were beaten 3-1 by West Ham, which would have handed Tottenham the opportunity to jump them. Tottenham could have took their place in the Champions League, but instead they were beaten 2-1 by Everton, meaning Tottenham finished fifth, two points adrift of Manchester United in fourth. So Rooney's got a top four finish in his first season as a full-time manager. Obviously the derby season hasn't happened because... It's happening right now and this is the current season. You get what I mean. Anyway, my night, let's have a look at the schedule. Let's see if they've been if they've had any success in the other competitions. Carabao Cup, they were knocked out in the fourth round by Liverpool. That was quite a blow for Wayne Rooney early on. His first game, first game in charge, was at home against the club he started his career at Everton, and his Man United team won 2-0, so it was a bright start. And then they got beat by Arsenal, so that wasn't wasn't quite as bright. Champions League, they made it through the group. They have the FA Cup, we'll come back to the Champions League. The FA Cup again, fourth round, where they were beaten by Tottenham. And the sign Mario Mandzukic, that was an interesting one from Wayne. We'll have a look at the transfers later. Champions League, they're, they're doing alright here. They beat Barcelona in the first knockout round on penalties. Victor Lindelof, Mandzukic, Pogba, Cavani and Tellez on target for them. Then the quarterfinals, they beat Chelsea convincingly 6-3 on aggregate. Then it was this, Christ, they're going all the way here. They played Juventus in the semi-finals, they lost 3-1 in the first leg and then a 2-0 win, two goals in the first two minutes. How on earth have they done that? Harry Maguire and Jesus Corona, can't say his name, might get demonetised, but that got Man United through on aggregate. 3-3, the away goal in Turin. Edinson Cavani's goal in the 34th minute is what put Man United into the Champions League final. It's good. They've only gone and bloody won it. Wayne Rooney in his first season as a manager at Manchester United, no less, one of the biggest clubs in the world, has won the Champions League. This is the Dan levels of epic. And more importantly, they've done it against their rivals Liverpool. If Wayne Rooney wasn't going to get a statue outside of Old Trafford, he certainly is now. One season in management, one Champions League, and he did it against Liverpool. It went to extra time, and Mason Greenwood got the winner in the 114th minute. So that's a pretty successful first season for Wayne Rooney. Top four finish, and the Champions League. The first time Man United have won the Champions League since 2008. That is incredible. Let's have a look at his team, see what system he's been playing. Standard 4-4-2. Is that surprising? It's quite attacking actually. Marcus Rashford on the left wing. A midfield two of Bruno Fernandes and Paul Pogba. Imagine if Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was daring enough to go for that. I don't think my net could cope. They've got to have Fred and McTominay in there somewhere. Cavani and Martial up top together. Like Ant and Deck. I need to think of more duos. Laurel and Hardy. Morgan Wise. Colin York. 
The half scored a fair few goals. Enter Cavani, he's got 33. That is a fantastic first season for him in England. We'll scroll down. Donny van der Beek barely played, feels alienated, so not much has changed. Um, I'll have a look at the transfers. Dean Henderson's ended the season in goal, but of course it was. David De Gea in between the sticks. Luke Shaw's leaving. He's got a deal to join Lazio, so that, that's sad for him. But Alex Tellers has done well. 12 assists. Bruno Fernandes also been a star of this team, which is, of course, no surprise. But we'll have a look at the transfer, see who Wayne brought in. Scroll down. Uh, who's he got? Mandzukic on a free. Strange signing, because, I mean, my night have already got one ageing attacker. But Mandzukic has done brilliantly. 14 goals and 26 appearances. That is fantastic. And they got... I'd never know how to say this lad's name. Siankov. The Ukrainian winger from Kiev. Could rise to £32.5 million. Let's see how he got on. Eh. Not great. Not awful either. Room for improvement. And here's his Corona. £27.5 million. And he's had a wonderful first season in, in first season in charge. He's not the manager. That's a bloody Wayne Rooney man. A wonderful first season playing for Man United. Six assists, an average rating of 7.35. And that was only in half a season's work. Is there any more big names left? Jesse Lingard's went out on loan. Phil Jones has gone to Lille. Rojo's gone. And Fred's gone to Bordeaux. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer loves Fred, but Wayne Rooney not so keen. But there we have it, that's the first year in charge, a fourth place finish and a Champions League title coming to Old Trafford for Wayne Rooney. Can he build on that in the second year in charge? Let's find out. Right, here we are at the end of the second season, the 1st of June 2022. And if you'll notice in the middle of the screen, we've got available jobs, Man United. Wayne Rooney, well he's either been poached by someone else or I think he's lost his job. Let's have a look. Wayne Rooney sacked. After one year and 319 days in charge, he left on the 16th of May 2022. No more trophies for Wayne Rooney. This seems quite harsh. This man won the Champions League in his first season and he's been sacked for a fifth place finish in the Premier League. He got one point less than he did the season before with 70. This time 21 points behind winners Liverpool. So it was going to be another season of Europa League football for Man United. But I mean, that's somewhere they've been in recent years. Let's have a look at the schedule. Super Cup, the loss straight away to PSG. Mbappe with the goal. League Cup, knocked out by Spurs straight away. Uh, FA Cup, knocked out in the fifth round by Tottenham as well. Tottenham have been an absolute bugger to Man United. Is Jose Mourinho still in charge? No, he's not. So that's irrelevant. Champions League, how far did they get this time? They made it to the quarterfinals, where they were beaten by Barcelona. A Lionel Messi inspired Barcelona, no less. But a Barcelona that did go down to 10 men in the second leg. So there was a chance there for the Red Devils. But still, that seems very harsh. A harsh sacking. Quarterfinals of the Champions League. I mean, Man United don't often do well in the Champions League nowadays. They're Europa League club. Are they? No, that, that's harsh. I mean, they are a rugby league club right now, but that's, that's, that's by the by. I mean, they won it last season. Surely there's got to be a bit of... They've got to give Rooney a bit of time to build here. In the Premier League, he was 11 points shy of Man City, who came fourth. So, Champions League football was never really on the horizon. Let's have a look at who we brought in. Spent £147 million. The most expensive arrival being... Eduardo Camavinga, I mean, that's a great signing. They also added Guillermo Marana from Sevilla, could rise to 51 million. That's, that seems overpriced, but whatever. Other names, Hans Hatterboer. No star names, there's no Sancho, there's no Haaland arriving, but... I mean, Rooney was probably thinking, you know, we won the Champions League, we don't need to add that much. Going out, they got rid of Luke Shaw, Juan Mata left. Jesse Lingard went to China, Fosu Mensa left. Daniel James sent out on loan to Villa. They sold Nemanja Matic. They sold Eric Bailly. Mario Mandzukic went out on loan. Wonder why they signed him in the first place. He did brilliantly and then they just got rid of him. Andres Pereira sold. Sergio Romero sold. Um, that seems to be it out of the big names. Let's have a look at the team. Is he stuck with his 4-4-2? It would appear he has. Can't really tell from that. We'll go and look at the last game they played. 
which was a 3-1 Christ Wayne Rooney his final game in charge of Man United was a 3-1 win over Nottingham Forest I believe that's right the 15th of May and he got sacked the day after there's no justice in the world looks like it was a 4-4-2 a very different Man United team as well there was no Pogba didn't play Bruno Fernandes wasn't there no Martial, no Rashford. But Dylan Hugerworth was there. He was a 19-year-old Dutchman. Scored on his debut. So well done to him. Want to watch in the future, maybe. But let's have a look at Man United. See if there's been... Marcus Rashford, a great season. Not as many goals for Man United, clearly. Martial was the top scorer with 20. Cavani only got 9 this time. 21 appearances off the bench. So he didn't feature as much. Bruno Fernandes had a great year. Still some strong performances from Man United. But not enough to finish in the top four. And not enough to keep Wayne Rooney in the job. Oh, I'm quite disappointed in this. I thought he would last more than two years. Well, I thought he would either last half a season. Or he would do brilliantly. You know, most times Solskjaer on this game, he lasts forever. This time for Wayne Rooney, two seasons he lasted at Old Trafford. That's how long he'd last. Maybe it's just stick it out with Derby, see how he can get on there, Wayne. I'm going to simulate a little bit more in the future, just see who replaces Wayne Rooney and see if he can get himself another quick job. Let's find out. Right, here we are three months on from the sacking of Wayne Rooney and Man United are fourth in the league after five games of the new Premier League season, which was as high as Wayne Rooney got them. They've got 12 points on the board, four wins, one draw, three adrift of Tottenham in first place. Mason Green with the top scorer with five already. And there's a shock there, Man United have got Callum McGregor. The new man signed Callum McGregor, whoever he is, and he's got four assists. Let's check Man United out, let's see who replaced Wayne Rooney. They've gone big, it was Diego Simeone. A huge appointment, they haven't gone for another former United player, they haven't got Giggsy or Scholes or, or that Gobby Robbie Savage. They've gone big and they've got Diego Simeone. So he's probably the man to take Man United back to their former glory since apparently it wasn't Wayne Rooney. But let's have a little search for him. Let's see if he's got himself another job. He hasn't. Wayne Rooney, available on a free, an unemployed manager. He's just sat outside the job centre waiting for someone to pluck him from obscurity. Will that happen? Who knows? Sorry, I never noticed this at the time. Tactical style, route one. Come on, Wayne, you're better than that. We will leave it there. I'm excited to see how Rooney gets on in his management career. Hopefully one day he makes it to Old Trafford because that would suggest he's having a very good management career. Or might not have gone horrendously wrong as a football club and Wayne Rooney's the only man that can save them. But we will find out in the years to come. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Alexpo. And until next time, we will see you around.